no, I've got the two lengths now. And then all you do is just cut them all off. So they're, it doesn't matter about being the same length, but cut them off. And then the two together, they need to be sort of twisted, sort of together. And you can see they're already roughly twisted. So I think it's just a matter of just in, sort of improving that. And then we just tie it off. So it won't come loose again. And on the one end, I'll just get that spare bit of wire. into a knot, pull that tight and that's the start, once that's on I will wrap it round and that can be your first sort of barb. What you do is you do a loop like this, do a loop and then you just pull it round, just carefully your eyes. Pull it tight if you want. You get a loop and then what you do, you super glue it and you go all the way along and then you just cut these ends and get rid of the loop. Now I know German barbs were a lot closer together but you can see it's quite labour intensive doing this. So it's more just the effect really. Um, there is an easier way, Tammy will show you, where you just put knots in and then you cut the third one, but I don't, I don't like that, it, it doesn't look right. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go all the way along, um, or at least with this one. I'll, I'll probably need another one of these to finish off, and then I'll show you how I've got on. Done the first one, and then I've just run out of wire and I've just finished it off just at the end with a couple of loops. So I'll get some more wire and I'll do the rest of it. And I'm hoping that'll be enough barbed wire. So, so to core the wire I've used a rolling pin. In the past what I've used a screwdriver. Um, both are either too small or too big. So what I'm going for now is a bit of half inch copper pipe. So let's see how we get on with this. small but I think it'll be fine. 